Amarin First Class LeMay. My job title is Hydraulic Technician for the C-130s here. So my job entails uh, going out looking at the airplane if there's a discrepancy and we'll take a look. If it's a component, we'll take a look at the component we have to replace. Our most recent job, a co-pilot brake valve. It's kind of under the seat of the uh, co-pilot seat and we uh, removed that, put a new one in. And then we made sure everything was going all right. We do that by pumping the brakes. The part that I like about my job is probably yeah, getting dirty. I don't mind getting a little hydraulic fluid on myself. Removing and replacing something is my favorite part for sure. The things I learn up here, you know, could translate to something as simple as the brakes on your car. And any sort of mechanical skill, you know, if you come in, you don't know anything about working with your hands, the job teaches you a lot about that, you know, just general mechanical knowledge, that's good to know. CRF is a centralized repair facility, so it's kind of like a depot level maintenance for aircraft parts. Uh, so if other bases don't have the means to repair that part, if they don't have the tools, if they don't have you know, the capabilities to, then they'll send them to us. We have more tools, we have more resources here that we're able to repair that part. We receive parts from all the bombers in the Air Force, the B-1s, B-2s, and B-52s. Uh, we overhaul the parts uh, along with the other allied shops in our uh, squadron, and we send them out back ready to go back on the aircraft. My impact is I help get aircraft back in the air by putting these you know, reassembled parts back on the aircraft. Uh, I feel like we help generate aircraft every day in this shop by doing the work that we do. Just seeing the aircraft take off you know, after you know that you, you had some type of impact on that and putting uh, you know, an overhauled part back on that aircraft, it's just a real good sense of accomplishment you get every day. So hydraulics are in pretty much every system of the aircraft from your landing gear, flaps, your spoilers or speed brakes, your rudder, all of those are hydraulically operated. Without them, you can't fly. Teamwork is very important in this. This isn't a one-man job. A lot of our jobs require at least two people. Our big thing I've talked about before is the boom. Without constant communication, without that teamwork and understanding what each person's role is, there's no way we could do a lot of the jobs that we have. Something I'd probably want to hear when I was looking for jobs or looking for a maintenance career field is the honest viewpoint of when you work on the flight line, depending on where you are, it'll be hot, you're going to be tired, you're going to get dirty, but you do make a lot of friends as you go along, you do learn a lot. When you start understanding the mission, it makes it worth it. The things that we have to do for certain parts, no, couldn't be done without a shop like us. Hydraulic back shop, we work on different hydraulic components on different aircraft. So here we work on F-15 parts, F-16 parts, E-10 parts. Hydraulic back shop is a very important mission because without parts, you know, we can't, we can't work the jets and we're the ones that fix those parts. I feel like the way that we the things that we have to do for certain parts, I feel like, or I know couldn't be done without a shop like us. The way that we take things apart or the way that we have to maneuver parts to be able to do certain things, I know couldn't be done on the flight line. I, I think we work together pretty well. We all come from different kind of backgrounds, but I think we all have certain aspects that help us gel together easily. If you want to come in and do hydraulics, you don't have to any prior knowledge, don't be afraid. We'll, we'll take you in, we'll teach you. I would say like just be open-minded and don't be afraid. You'll always have your chances to, to learn and to grow and we'll give you that opportunity. I'll be a hydraulics technician here at LUD Air Base. We're a brake surf for the 135. Uh, any uh, brakes in the AOR, wherever the jets may be, if they're forward deployed, they send their brakes back to us. We rebuild them. They can be fitted on a KC-135 or RC-135. When they come in here, instead of having to ship them out, putting a bunch of money into a whole brand new brake, if we can tear it down, put packings, new packings in it, make sure that it pressures correctly, everything moves the way it's supposed to, we can send it back out the same day. It saves probably about $20,000, roughly, around there. 
to, for us to overhaul them rather than send it out. I'd say the most challenging thing is trying to learn other aircraft parts because we're not necessarily, I'm, I'm a 135 guy and they may bring a part back to us and ask us if we can help them rebuild it or check it. Uh, I'm not necessarily familiar with their stuff, so just trying to learn and you know, be a part of the other aircraft out here as well. So we're not restricted to just 135s or even just aircraft. We, can, we have an impact on a uh, big part of the uh, uh, operations here.